Indian micro markets or cities across the country. And today our spotlight and focus is on Chennai. The manufacturing and IT hub of India, one of the leading ones and also the cultural capital of India. I'm here in Chennai with an expert panel and let me introduce the panelists to you. Of course, the focus is going to be to get to the opportunities in the real estate market of Chennai and tell you what the key trends are and how the future is looking. Has the sentiment revived? Has the consumer interest come back? And what are going to be some of the hotspots of Chennai's real estate market? Let me introduce my panel of guests today. I have with me Ajit Chodia from the Olympia Group. Also with me, Dr. Kumar from Naveen Housing. Chitty Babu, Akshaya Holmes and Sarita Hunt of GLL. Thank you very much for joining me today. And of course, it's great to be in your city. So let me start uh, with some of the key figures that I see here and whether I see Knight Frank data on residential. We're starting with residential because clearly there's maximum interest amongst my viewers of the show. If I look at some of the trends here, there's been a huge drop in both new launches and sales. So the question is, uh, Mr. Chodia, let me start with you. Why did we see that level of drop between 2012 and 2014, what didn't work for Chennai's residential market? Because if I remember very correctly, when I started the show, the property show in 2012, National Housing Bank data actually put Chennai right at the top in terms of the best performing residential market. I would say that there was a slowdown in the offtake of uh, the IT. So the IT job creation probably had come down and that could have resulted in uh, the uh, sale of residential apartments coming down. So I attribute that to be one of the major reasons for the sales to be slowing. Mm -hmm. So then I think that brings us to a very big question on why Sarita has, uh, is Chennai, I mean, I think we can go back to the residential a bit later then. The larger question is, why is Chennai losing its sheen as an IT hub? Uh, in fact, there was a time when there was a Japanese delegation which re rejected Bangalore and it made news and decided to come to Chennai. 2012 to 14, yes, there was a downturn and the IT industry per se also slowed down, but Chennai took a bigger hit than any other city. Correct. Uh, I guess, Manisha, what's happening is uh, there was a lack of uh, concrete being poured in. And what had happened is when there was a need, mm -hmm. I think after the GFC, everybody has been very cautious about how much of planning and how much of space take up they need to do. Okay. So in, in that uh, scenario, what they've been doing being very conservative. So where we've been a very, very conservative market of a 4 million absorption, in turn creating 40,000 jobs, we've seen in 2012 a little dip. But what's going to happen is in 2014, if you really take a look at the office space absorption, over the six cities, it's been 6 million in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. And for Chennai, if you really have to do a data analysis, it's been 26% over 2013. So I guess this year, you will see that entire oversupply being looked and lapped up by the consumer. So are you saying there was an oversupply in the IT space? Uh, I won't what? really, I okay. won't, uh, actually I, I made my view is a little different from uh, the, you know, Mr. Rajit's view. Why? Because uh, the, the market uh, of Chennai, of course, is conservative, but it is not drive, driven by the IT. Mm -hmm. It is a contribution which definitely comes from IT is about 20 to 25 percent, but 80 percent of the market was driven by the industry. 80% of the market is driven by so industry. So the rest of industry, see, which could be hardcore manufacturing, auto. See, the, the auto. best state in the mm. southern states, this is because of the automobile sector, textile, uh, the schooling, the college, education. It's a huge hub of various other activities, not only IT. IT, of course, contributes about 20% of the residential growth, but largely it has come from telecom, IT, you know, uh, uh, textile, all the other industries. Last three years, I think this state has contributed consecutively one lakh job opportunities. Hmm. Forget about IT. The jobs which has been created in the city on various other industries other than IT is about one lakh consecutively for three years. So then that should translate into housing the, the, demand. The, the main issue which has happened is the wait and watch approach has happened once the election is announced. Hmm. See, we have seen a slump, a slow decision making is not happening only because this is my personal view. We have seen this every time when there is an election which is announced in the central. We, we lose at least nine months of focus because people always anticipate something going to happen better, something always wanted to happen better in the next budget. See, that makes 
quite a lot of difference in chennai market dr kumar do you agree with that that uh, you know i would think that housing is such a state subject for sentiments to be they have they have been depressed across all micro markets of india all cities of india you think chennai was also affected very deeply by the uncertainty and the policy jam or log jam that we saw at the center for the last year or so yeah i, I would i would think so um, mm. see what happens uh, uh the it coincided with the announcement of the elections in fact uh, because of the policy paralysis which was uh, you know seen in the last uh, you know quite some time uh, and uh, the election poses uncertainties what's going to be the future everybody wanted a bright future mm -hmm. hoping for a bright future but things could go even wrong so the wait and watch approach you know that that kind of sentiment suddenly dawned upon the city okay i i could see that market uh, difference at the time of announcement of the elections so yes so are you saying that 2013 was worse off than 2012 because of the pre election mood only the uh, pre election mood and also see you should notice one important thing approvals all go for a uh, stagnation i was coming to that see when you don't see but approvals then is a state subject no when you don't see new launches happening uh, manisha then press stock is not coming in then we are actually pushing the old stock so the customer is actually not getting an opportunity to get the new launches which is coming in various city various locations no mm -hmm. see for 6 months 9 months no movements of approvals no because of the announcement then the code of conduct comes in in place so the major gvos are not getting fast so no fresh stock is coming in you are actually selling the old stock ajit chodia i hold on the, hold on to that thought i have a uh, point of contention there is it because approvals were not coming projects were not getting launched or is it because sales were so slow the developers were not comfortable mm -hmm. announcing new project launches no it's a combination it's a both the thing chicken and the egg which comes first so mm. i would say that uh, the sales uh, overall policy paralysis at the center has its own effect on the state right i mean on the on the consumers here and there was i would say reasonably a policy paralysis even at the state level so okay. even here we didn't have a government which was so active or aggressively going everywhere so it's a combination of the policy paralysis at the center state the regulatory hurdles which were being placed new projects were not getting launched and uh, compounded by the slowdown and we saw karke the market had bottomed just before the elections so let's start then all over again the past is past so the market is bottomed are we saying the market is bottomed in good days are it's a good news it's a good news i disagree the bottomed okay. i disagree that see definitely there is a slowness which we have felt in the market sentiments but we can't say that market is bottomed out in chennai market but sarita okay. no i Dr. feel Kumar. market if you hear the use that word hmm. that's good news because it's already bottomed out that's why you know is up now it's beautiful time is coming That's what you said just now, and I would agree with you. I will not. That's what I'm asking. Did. Do you believe it's yes. bottom? Do you believe it's bottom? If you look at the figures, all right. If I look at the figures that I have with me, Knight Frank report says that there's been a drop of over 30% yeah. in both launches and sales. Now, where is it all going to settle down? How will it play out? Do you think we are at the bottom? What What's I, the sense as a developer? Uh, do you get? Do you I, feel I, more positive? Yeah, I think we have hit the bottom already. Sarita, would you agree that they bottomed out? You ha you're a data person, you know. So let's first put office space in perception. I mean, perspective, because that's what you track very closely. And residential tends to always and follow. Correct. Isn't it? Do you think that we bottomed out on the office space? You mentioned some figures, and you sounded very positive for the yes. first four five months of yes. So what's really happening? If you really take a look at the stock of office space for Chennai, is fifty eight million. Mm -hmm. And I was just having a very casual chat with Ajit about you know how developers need to look at what's going to happen in the next two years. We definitely need concrete to be poured mm -hmm. because. is i mean the question was is chennai going to shine it will shine if we have enough of office grade and we don't have it we don't because have because nobody mm -hmm. was launching in the last two years absolutely Three years. absolutely so Three you years. have a 5% okay. which is going to be added to the 58 million and in 2015 you'll have just a mere 3% and that's going to cause an issue because we are looking as uh, chitty babu just said that you know we have a various uh, sectors like auto uh, fmcg telecom it but it is the main driver hmm. and if we are not able to bring grade a supply into the city that creation of maybe 20 or 30% which goes into sales for residential is going to be moving to another city so i guess the need is 
how do we do that because the first thing is land becoming affordable mm. and that's the main ingredient for any build up so land owners need to realize that they need to be reasonable so developers like ajit and chitty and uh, dr navin can build good product at affordability but don't Today. you think this rationality uh, uh, you know so any jda even the land owners must be realizing there's only that much you can keep pricing on the land front uh, no Mitchell, it's yeah. the market is totally skewed towards residential if you see it just doesn't make mm. sense today the rentals remain same at uh, maybe 40 50 rupees 55 rupees a square feet so it's no incentive for developers like you to launch more office space because uh, i a i run the risk of uh, bringing in the money up front waiting for the project to get completed waiting for it to get lease and then i will get an exit Hmm. and at what cap will i get an exit is again a big question mark yes, it's if i do a residential at any of the city property today nothing less than 10000 is available so 10000 to 20000 rupees anywhere in the city if i am if i am able to do i will be able to sell at that particular price but office even if it is mount road so that's what i was telling earlier also on your channel that i would see mount road to be becoming a residential hub Gosh. It makes sense to put up a residential <laughs> building in Safar Theatre or uh, uh, any other landmark uh, locations in Chennai. Dr. Kumar, yeah. who's to buy the bullet? All of you are saying yeah. it's. I mean, Ajit Chodya, he's the one who should be. He's been building IT office space and world class one. If he's saying it's so difficult, then how do you do it? See, one thing you must understand: uh, the Chennai developers. If there are no launches, you are talking about no lack of launches during a certain period. See, what we do is we immediately respond to the market. Uh, no indications. We don't go on hammering on the same thing. We respond immediately. That's Isn't why the it builders. Is it a boss mentality? No, everybody is, wants to. We do don't have in, in Chennai. We don't have this herd mentality. That's what I'm coming to. Okay. We, we think ahead. You know, the moment the indications are like, you no, know, there is going to be a slight down trend. We uh, we become cautious. Yeah. That's I mean, if the Chennai people are sent, uh, said to be very uh, conservative, actually we are very very. you know um, uh, prudent the, i would rather use the word we are very prudent and uh, yes uh, i would uh, no agree with ajit chodia there is uh, uh, difficulty in no leasing out uh, office space and then the com- uh, rent- rentals coming in see this is a natural process i think see this is not nobody is going to go and change uh, no everything either by planning intervention and all those there is a natural tendency of a city this city has got a different kind of tendency are you so, are you uh, seeing so as sarita saying that there has been an uptick in terms of office absorption why is it not yet translating into increased rental yields for you see uh, there is definitely an herd mentality let us mm. not uh, uh, wish that particular way mm. if you look at the last it boom which came chennai was little late to react bangalore started and then came chennai look at 2004 5 6 the government gave good amount of incentive 50% extra fsi this zoning regulations being done away with power being given at this approvals. so many other approvals being given in fact one of the reason why it buildings came was because of one particular geo issued by the government which says post facto approval is permitted for an it building so you yes. build a building approvals, approvals can come later so that is the reason all these it buildings came even tidal park the building which came up the building was completed after the building was completed the approvals came okay i mean that is the state mm-hmm. of affair but having said this the herd mentality excess vacancy 2 3.75 fsi in uh, siruseri or in uh, where the land value is a fraction of the construction cost people wanted 3.75 and 4 fsi so people developers burned their fingers investors burned their fingers and you had 18 million square feet of vacant it space mm. today it is dropped down to 10 so people who have burnt their fingers are hesitant in entering once again the rates are not going up but one thing is good thing see the good amount of better places have all been observed fundamentally a sound place will today even sell we have gindi you have uh, i would say ambattur also is going to be fantastic or it is not going to be right, a very difficult very it is bad because of the very road bad. road 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 not being mm. there roads are improving mm. but gindi is definitely you have enough and more land available in gindi which government should encourage with welcome hand that come i would like to create one more a mini white field at least mm. we have this perungudi area perungudi area should be exploited by the government open whatever that kits that knowledge it was right. there the land few yeah. hundred acres earmarked by the government open it get developers once again to start 
do not shy away from getting developers developers are not a bad word you just don't need an infosys or a tcs to come and put up a campus you will need for a company like verizon or hp mm -hmm. they are not going to put up their own campus you will need a developer to come so you need to make affordable land passes available even to developers we, we we're going to uh, come back you know just the infrastructure the amenities civic amenities it's important for creating good office space and then office space means employment creation and employment creation means housing demand. So we'll come back, we'll look at infrastructure, civic amenities in Chennai and why there's been so much pressure on it. Also hotspots of Chennai's residential market coming up on the other side. You're watching The Realty Debate on NDTV Prime. Stay with us.